everybody how y'all doing today i am doing wonderful so today is another episode of trucking and dying so i'll be eating at dairy's place okay over here in uh canton texas right exit 527 get off the exit you take a right if you're coming from the west coast if you're coming from the east coast it'd be still 527 on i-20 exit 527 you turn left you go all the way down you park over here where circle k is you see circle k they have truck parking you park over here and you walk all the way to Dairy's place. They got a little McDonald's over there too, but I ain't going to no damn McDonald's. Mm, no. So, let me go ahead on over there. Give me something to eat because I haven't eaten all day. And let y'all know how this food tastes. So, if y'all want to come to Texas and y'all end up seeing this, Y'all come here and get y'all some meat. Plain and simple. Walking. We walking. Well, they got Jerry's Pizza over there. Y'all see that? If you want some pizza. They got Subway, Domino's, Taco Bell. Here it goes, Dairy's place. Can you drive? Oh, Jesus. Your girl walking, walking from over there. Y'all see my truck? Y'all see it? They got my truck. Old fashioned hamburgers, real meat, over 24 7. Okay. No outside food allowed. No shirts. No pets allowed. Bluebell. Ice cream. Badass kids. Well, they got merch. T shirts and stuff. Swinging <laughs> wild. All right. Pickles. Would you like ranch? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> a chicken quesadilla. That what well, comes on that? Um, it has onions and bell peppers in it with cheese and then the meat. And then on the setup is pico, guacamole, and salsa. Okay. Can I have no guacamole? Oh. And a chili cheese dog. Is that chili cheese on? Yes. Would you like to put longer than six inch? Six inch. And would you like mustard and onion? Mustard and onion. And what's your drink? Um, a large sweet tea. Large sweet tea? Uh huh. Fried pickles with ranch, a chicken quesadilla with no guacamole, chili cheese hot dog with mustard and onions, and a large sweet tea. Uh huh. Okay. 21.39. Except for here to go. Okay. Okay, and then please. Okay. Rolls. Chicken quesadilla, chili dog, fried pickles with ranch. Okay, I'm gonna try the chili dog first. has onions, chili, and mustard. See? This chili dog is This is the bomb. The chili is not too seasoned, not too spicy. The cheese is on point. You can't really taste the mustard, but still. It's not over top with onions. It is good. I tried fried pickles. There's some ranch. Not too oily. It's not dripping in grease. <coughs> Just try it by itself. You still kind of taste the juice from the pickle.
breading is not too much. It don't taste soggy. It's a nice texture. It tastes good. It don't taste doughy. And it's spicy. That's one thing that's spicy. <clears throat> I like spicy. I don't mind my nails because they started chipping off and this one broke so did this one that started chipping off it's been months since I had my nails done so now let's try this I'm gonna try with a little sour cream <clears throat> And a little pico. <coughs> it's good. It's not dry. <coughs> now let me try it by itself. Chicken is juicy. <laughs> that is juicy. They put a lot of meat in here. There's a lot of meat. You know when you get some some quesadillas, you hardly get any meat. They got enough meat in here. So that's a plus. It's not too cheesy. That's another plus. Everything's even. I got bell pepper, pepper, cheese, onion, red pepper. I didn't have to wait long on my meal. You order it, you pay for it, you beat the dining in, you sit down, and they bring it to you. It's a little bit greasy. Just a little bit. Not too much. But it's all good. Not that much grease. Not that much oil. You taste the quesadilla. You don't taste oil. Which is good. So. Let me finish this because I didn't eat all day. I didn't eat last night. It is what it is. All of a sudden, now I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll let y'all know my review later on when I get inside the truck. Alright, y'all. I forgot to give my overall review last night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. So, here go my overall review. Everything tasted wonderful. Everything tasted good. I was full, so I had the idea, so I ended up getting back to the truck and started watching the movie. I fell asleep, child. I feel asleep. Mm -hmm. So, let's start with the quesadillas. It wasn't dry. It was a little bit oily, a little bit greasy, a little bit, but not too much. Like, you hold it up, all of a sudden, you start to see grease drip all the way down. It didn't look dry. It did not. The pico wasn't dry or drained or 
over sauteed and all that other stuff. It had plenty of meat. Usually when I get quesadillas, it don't hardly be no daggone meat. It just be cheese. And I just don't want just cheese. I want my meat inside my stuff, y'all. I want my meat inside my quesadillas. This one had plenty of meat. Equal of peppers. Green and red. Equal of onions. Not over top. It was good. It was A1 sauce. A1 sauce. Let's get to the chili dog. The chili dog was pretty much semi-grilled. It wasn't hardly grilled. It wasn't overly burnt. It was grilled though. Because I could take I looked at it and all of a sudden I was like, oh okay, this wasn't this was grilled, not boiled. Which is good. The cheese wasn't too much. The uh, mustard wasn't too much. I but I can barely taste the mustard. I wanted to taste the mustard. So yeah, I wish they go a little bit stronger on the mustard part. Uh, the chili, it was good. It wasn't dry and all the other stuff. Um, they need to limit it a little bit. It was like too much chili. <laughs> it was like overwhelming a little bit. But it was good though. It was good. Now the fried pickles. The batter was good. It wasn't dry. It wasn't too seasoned. It wasn't like that doughy taste. It was fresh, crispy, and clean. It was good. You can still taste the juice of the, uh, of the pickles. I was about to say pineapples of the pickles like the pickles still had it taste it wasn't overly cooked or burnt or anything else so the fried pickles were good the sweet tea wasn't too sweet wasn't too bland it was good no one bothered me all the daggone time um on the pricing side it's not overly priced it's even from what i got it was only like 20 some odd dollars that's not overly priced. It's not. It, it was decent. It was decent. Um, very clean. I see that. I didn't get a photo of that because I felt weird because there was too many people inside the um, diner. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but when I sat down, I felt a little bit comfortable. I got a milkshake. I didn't record that, but it was good. It was good. It was good. So get on to re the review so y'all this restaurant got 4.4 stars from Google and let's get on over to what other people say in those reviews and let's see a person from that gave them five stars and let's get a review from a person that only gave them boom, 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 one star let's get going so guys we got a one star review from Heather Mashburn she said awful the food was overcooked, not seasoned enough. World famous? Yeah, right. Maybe to the billion flies inside the restaurant. Ick. Save your money and go somewhere worth it. Dang, Heather. Girl. Now let's go on over to a person that gave it five stars and see what their review says. The restaurant got five stars from Stephanie Taylor. This place has everything. It's the best. It's the best fear food restaurant due to the huge variety in in the menu. While nothing was the best ever, everything was delicious and good. No regrets. Order, order everything. The fact that there erotic meats burgers is just as good as the patty melt so good so there goes stephanie taylor's review wow stephanie taylor really really liked it so let's get on to my review y'all so everybody what rating am i going to give these people out of five trucks hmm let me guess jump roll please them a 4.5 trucking rate. That's what I give them. I give them a 4.5 out of everything. Yes, it was good food. Excellent food. 
but they still need a little bit tweaking here and there. They do, they do. Um, from the reviews that I've seen, I do agree with most. It is a wonderful place. Everybody is kind. Um, they don't take forever and 50 years in order to get your food. They do need a little bit of upgrading on their chairs, though, because I sat on one side of the table and I kind of like plumb it inside the deck on seat. <laughs> that needs to be fixed. Um, so I had to sit on the other side. It is what it is. They do need an updating of coat of paint. Like the atmosphere needs an update. Probably just new fresh paint. Need to rebuild the walls a little bit more. You know, a little coating, a little upgrade coating and everything else. Um, but other than that, the food is great. I have no complaints about it. And if y'all ever in Canton, Dallas, Dallas Canton, go ahead and check them out. And I will see y'all later.